Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th of June and we are in the energy or the zodiac sign Cancer. So the energy has shifted from quick 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 and stressful or uh, very exciting um, to uh, love, care and nurturing and passion sensuality and sexuality so you might be feeling really sexy woohoo this month and here we go we are going to start with Mon uh, the querent that is you or the overall energy Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday I'll be using the corner cards to describe or clarify the three cards around it uh, or vice versa. I also have uh, the Mystic uh, Shaman deck, my new deck, the uh, postcard from Spirit and the Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. And I will be doing the spiel afterwards as I would like to keep the introduction short and strong. So welcome back my Cyber Angels and my new viewers. Please subscribe and hit the bell on all and you'll be notified. And please listen at the end of the video for the information. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we have the querent or the overall energy, Virgo. And you were the 8th uh, or the ninth in uh, the row as I received 35 likes from you. Thank you very much for your likes and please like and share and keep on doing that. First of all, you have the Emperor and the Emperor is also uh, represents uh, Aries. So you might be meeting an Aries this week or you might be seeking advice from an Arian. Um, this could be a father figure or a professional besides being an Aries. Okay, let's have a look what you are seeking advice about. Then the Monday you have the Sun. So the Sun stands for new beginnings. This could be a birth of a child. You could be hearing of a birth of a child or a new project, a new job perhaps a new relationship, perhaps going up uh, to a next level in a job or a relationship. You might hear that you are becoming an aunt or a grandmother or a niece uh, with this birth if you are too mature or too young to have children. If you do find out that you're pregnant and then uh, and you don't want to get uh, if you sorry let's start again. You might hear that you're you might be pregnant because it's a very fertile time. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take the precautions. Okay, you might be moving home. You might be going on holiday to a warm country. The sun also means spotlight. You are in the spotlight. Perhaps a Leo has an eye on you. But something is also being illuminated and that means that you need more information with regards to the illumination be it a situation or a question that you have so if you would like a personal reading then please look below the video in the description box for the details I'm more than willing to help you but like I said you might be getting uh, if you're in a judicial situation you might need advice with regards to something that's been illuminated and something uh, the, the spotlight is on you but also on a situation or a question as I said so you'll need to do more research in order to get the answers Wow okay now we're going on to Wednesday and Wednesday you have the wheel of fortune and this is my karma card as well this card also means moving home, going on holiday, traveling, perhaps by car, perhaps with something else that has wheels, like an aeroplane. You might fly and soar through the sky. <laughs> okay, and that is number 10. So it's an ending, a new beginning. Something has come full circle. 
what goes up must come down what goes up must also go down this is also my karma card if you've done good or bad you'll get it back threefold if somebody's done you wrong or good they'll get it back threefold and also um, the uh, wheel of fortune uh, says something goes up to the next level like the wheel like a bicycle wheel it's got spokes so it might be one step or two steps it might be one thing it might be two things that you are advancing in could be in business or it could be in a relationship you could also get married because the Sun also means marriage and also the wheel of fortune from being engaged you might be getting married or you might be moving in with somebody as these two cards are meaning moving home perhaps you need more information or advice on that with regards to the contract if it's a rented house or if you're purchasing a house together so perhaps you need to seek more advice on how to do that to the best of your advantage but something will be built on proper foundations as new beginning and you've got 19 which is also becomes a 10 so you've got a 10 here and a 10 here so you've got double numbers and double numbers are appearing quite often in the readings this week now on Friday you have the High Priestess so play the cards close to your chest listen to your intuition and new ideas also um, take a journal and put it beside your bed because when you dream and you wake up note it down ASAP as soon as possible so that you know what you've dreamt so that could be your higher self or your subconscious um, telling giving you a message the high priest is is too so there you are you are in balance by the end of the week also the high priest is represents the moon goddess and the moon represents Pisces so there might be a Pisces around you that you might be seeking advice from okay or perhaps a psychic or medium but listen to your own intuition your gut feeling your new ideas that shoot into your head those are all messages from the divine and the angels but like I said she holds the book of knowledge of life she can travel between the dark the shadow side of life and worlds and the light side of the worlds like the underworld and uh, earth so she knows the secrets on how to travel um, and that is also a message for you don't tell everybody everything know what you know and use your wisdom wisely then you have the page of Pentacles and the page of Pentacles is Capricorn so you might be meeting a Capricorn or you might be getting a message from the Capricorn but don't ex exclude uh, Taurus or Virgo okay lovely lovely could be about work could be about a promotion like I said going up to the next level perhaps you might see your boss he's the advisor on your job so he might be calling you in and telling you you've got a promotion now we're going to the first corner card and that is the clover and you're holding a bag of money there so that means that you are anchoring you are you've got luck with money or work good 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 again a number two a double number 22 and that is definitely an angel number so have a look on Google if you are interested to find out what 22 stands for so in balance and luck are on your side the Sun is one of the most lucky cards and positive cards in the deck of tarot so boom you've got double luck there and 
you're getting news about good news okay and you will have luck by finding the right advisor or advice with regards to a question or an issue then we go to the poppet or poppet and that is like a voodoo doll with needles who's sticking pins in you well perhaps now it is your turn to let people know your boundaries and say no learn to say no because you are having you have the needles now you you don't want anybody to stick needles in you you want to be in control and in balance all the time so that's why you shouldn't tell everybody everything play the cards close to your chest learn to keep secrets there's nothing wrong with keeping secrets so long you don't harm anybody else okay that is the news or that's the uh, yeah the message for you learn to say no take back control of your life don't be somebody else's puppet don't let anybody else stick needles or pull the threads or the strings make your own proper foundation for full amazing again a double number and four and four is eight so that is your powerhouse and your money house so that is important to take back control be your own person be your own advisor perhaps you might be the advisor to somebody else by saying no and getting respect you you don't you know you have to earn respect you don't ask for respect you earn your respect by treating others the way you would like to be treated and letting others know what your boundaries are wow big message here then you have the anchor and the anchor is 35 again 8 so 8 is telling you you can have your power back if you have a question the answer is yes you're coming home to a safe haven you feel safe where you are like I said you might be putting roots down you steady job okay and you feel safe there you've put your anchor there and your heart your passion and you'll be staying there okay whether it's in relationship or in work like I said you might be moving home to a safe haven in this case and will you be happy yes look at all the beautiful cards around you with luck the anchor is also a card of luck and look at this you have the ring so that means partnerships perhaps marriage perhaps a partnership with living together perhaps you're going to go to an official person an attorney or a notary public making a prenuptial or a contract of living together because you've got the ring and two and five is seven luck is on your side okay Virgo and now we're going to the first card and you have from the Queen of the Moon Oracle you have resilience and you have been strong enough you've endured a lot you've walked the path and you're nearing the end and this is a waning gibbous a waning moon the last quarter making mistakes builds resilience I have learned my lessons from the mistakes I've made I, I stand strong I am an adult and I act with self responsibility yes you will act with, um, with self responsibility or you will take the responsibility back because you're taking back the needles okay you're not letting anybody push your buttons or push needles in you or pull the strings you are taking back you are showing your boundaries and letting people know no is no and you're allowed to say no be strong it's difficult to 
uh, say no, I know, especially when you're a person that gives. Now we have the postcard, and the postcard says, celebrate life. Yes, you can celebrate life, especially if you take back control and learn to say no, and know your boundaries. Dearest you, you have a unique purpose and destiny that only you can fulfill, but first you need to know that destiny isn't a destination. You don't arrive at some special place where, poof, you are perfect and happy all the time. It's about establishing a f firm and affirming up a commitment to a certain experience, whatever form that takes. Your soul knows what you need to experience. Your destiny is to be present to all of life's adventures, to discover your talents and full potential through allowing inspiration to lead you, and to take risk standing apart from the crowd by saying no. That's what you do. Don't be a sheep, in other words. Take back control. Just be your unique self to listen to your soul. You are special as much as you are paradoxically one with the world, individual yet part of a great whole. Both truths have led you to this moment where we are say uh, where we are saying you are on the right track even if your ego self doesn't see that listen to your soul check in with spirit keep going listen to your intuition your new ideas your dreams that is your soul speaking to you your higher self so keep in contact with spirit spirit loves you life loves you we love you there you go then we have the mystic shaman oracle deck number 20 like i said you're back in balance so two two and two so you might see two 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 somewhere like um, 2200 hours and two minutes whoa nice one flow go with the flow that's what I'm hearing right the message is there is a natural movement of events in the world you can see it in phenomena such as the tide the ebb and the flow of oceans and rivers that rises up from the earth then flow to the sea the symbol of flow represents the effortless and natural movement toward a certain destination it signifies an ability to gracefully move around obstacles and reminds you of the sense of allowing the task or invitation is when flow comes to visit you it's a sign that your intentions have been in motion. Now is the time to allow nature to run its course. You are being called to effortlessly move and take movements and the path of least resistance. It's like being within music, flowing within partnerships. Think of the artist who creates without guile or craft, calling creativity up from the soul and bringing it to life without effort, and otherwise go with the flow and create what you want to create and don't work against the tide, that's what I'm hearing. You are called to be like a river knowing the fulfillment of destiny is assured enjoy the ride yeah and then i get the word rivets 
So that's like a river with a lot of hobbles ups and down like a, the boat. The, you can sail down on the river, on the rivets. So don't worry. The, the, go with the flow. It, it's not smooth all the way. Know that. It's like life. Life is also up and down. And l I'm also getting the message because of the big moon. The tides always change with the full moon and the new moon. So if you know that you are sensitive with full moons and new moons, then take it in your stride. But know your boundaries. Beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed that reading, uh, Virgo. Take back control and go with the flow. And be aware of your in, uh, intuitiveness, your new ideas and your emotions, especially around the change of moons. Okay. I hope you'll enjoy this reading. And if you haven't joined the competition yet, or you don't know that there is a competition, then have a look at the video on the website. There you can find the video on the competition. You can win the Shadowlands for nothing if you come first. You have a choice between the new deck of Shadowlands or a used deck, a deck used by me, the vice versa deck. And that second place, the person in the second place will get the remaining deck. And the third place is 20 minute free reading. And nobody is a loser in the competition as we are making a vision board. Okay, you can keep the vision board even after the competition has finished. I have a vision board and it keeps me on track and it empties out my mind. And so I find that my contemplation or meditation times are easier. I can let my mind drift. And that's great because it brings back re um, relaxation. So, and I will be notifying uh, in future in the community, but under the community button on YouTube when I go live that day, and that's Monday, Friday, and uh, Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday that I go live and I give out free cards, but I also answer questions that are supported by a donation and that donation is um, either a super chat or a super sticker so watch out for the notifications if you're not getting notified by YouTube have a look in the community and uh, also on my Facebook Charlie's Angel Tarot and um, on Instagram you can follow me there as well you can fo find all these buttons that you can connect with on the main page um, in the profile photo and it will take you straight to Instagram and become a member there and then you'll be notified when I go live and I hope to see you in the live sessions tonight as it is Friday and have a beautiful, wonderful week ahead. Stay safe and be blessed. And please share and like the video. If you want to be the first zodiac sign, then keep on clicking on the thumbs, the like button, and you might just become the first. Take care, be blessed, and stay sweet. See you tonight.